Hey, it's me, Bastian Best, and in this video I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of three large language models to find out which one works best for pattern drafting. So, without further ado, let's start the competition. First of all, let's look at the models under test. So, in this test I'm looking at open source models, which you can download and run locally on your computer without sending any data through the internet, which is obviously nice for patent drafting. In this test we will be making a side-by-side -side comparison of three open source LLMs, namely on the one hand a Mistral, um, which is uh, an open source LLM um, published by Mistral AI. We will be using the 7B model um, released just a couple of months ago. Then we will look at uh, Llama 2, of course, um, uh, yeah, the, one of the most popular um, um, offline executable LLMs um, by Meta. And then at Falcon, which is another large language model um, built by the Technology Innovation Institute. For reference, I will also um, run the same tests with ChatGPT. Uh, of course, just for reference, because uh, ChatGPT and the underlying model GPT-4 is a close proprietary model, um, just like BART by Google, uh, like Claude by uh, Anthropic. And these kinds of models run in the cloud. Uh, so you have basically no control who sees your inputs. And of course, using these models to do real client work as a patent attorney is not recommended for obvious reasons, right? Okay, so what's the test setup? Um, in my last video, which you can see uh, somewhere uh, here, I have used a software called LM Studio to run these kinds of models uh, locally on my uh, laptop. For this test, I will be using a similar tool called Olama. Uh, you can find it and you can download it for free on um, olama.ai. Currently, there is uh, a version available for Mac OS and for Linux. Uh, Windows is coming soon, uh, they say. So I've already installed um, this one and the, the nice thing about it is that it runs directly in uh, your in the Mac OS terminal. So uh, there's no fancy uh, graphical user interface, but you can just interface uh, uh, in, in a chat like manner with your model directly in, in the terminal, which is quite convenient uh, for me. Um, so let's fire up um, Olama by starting a new terminal and let's um, see where do we start we want to start with uh, Mistral so let me start Olama and run the Mistral model see how fast this runs and now for the test prompt which we will we'll be using uh, for this test we are gonna uh, have the models draft the uh, background section of a patent application so this is the prompt you're a patent attorney tasked with drafting a european patent application that concerns an ai assisted patent prosecution software that's the example we are using i want you to write the background section based on the context information at the end of this prompt. Start by describing the current state of the art, then its disadvantages, and then the objective of the present invention. So I'm giving uh, the LLM uh, the exact structure, how I want the background section to be drafted. Write at least four detailed paragraphs, no subheadings, please. In the last paragraph say, it is therefore an objective of the present invention to placeholder. Write in a factual tone while telling a compelling narrative to set the stage for the solution provided by the invention. Make sure the background section does not contain any pointer towards the solution. So these are basically the, the instructions to the LLM how the background section should look like. And now for the context information, we will give the LLM uh, some information about the current state of the art. In this case, patent drafting is a highly manual uh, patent drafting is highly manual. Some patent attorneys perceive patent drafting more as an art rather than an engineering activity. Then we will be giving the LLM uh, information about the disadvantages 
Writing the claims requires human intellect and strategic decisions, but writing up the rest of the patent application involves many easy, tedious tasks. AI and LLMs currently not used in production due to confidentiality concerns. And then we are uh, giving the LLM the objective of the invention, enable a more streamlined patent drafting process by way of AI automation in a secure manner. So that's the whole prompt uh, which we will be using for um, all of those three models. And let's see how a Mistral performs. I'm just gonna copy the prompt into my terminal. Mistral is up and running and let's see what comes out. See uh, this um, Olama software, the models are running lightning fast. It's really amazing. It's much faster than um, LM Studio, which I had used in the last video. So for the sake of uh, uh, brevity of this video, I'm just going to copy the output of the Mistral model into a document and then uh, do the other tests. And at the end, uh, we will be comparing uh, the actual content produced by the LLMs. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward here. Okay, so now let's stop the Mistral model and start Olama with the next model uh, in the competition Lama 2. And while the model is loading, yeah, there it is. So now we're gonna feed the prompt. I was just explaining the same prompt to Lama 2. And again, I will copy the output by, uh, from this uh, Lama to a model into the document so we can do the comparison later on. And the third member of the competition is the Falcon model. So I'm running the Falcon model now. And we're going to input our prompt. And again, I'm copying the output of the model into the document so we can compare it later. And lastly, uh, I said we're going to run the same prompt on GPT-4 through the ChatGPT interface, just as a reference point. You can see that ChatGPT actually takes much longer than the offline models I'm running in the Mac OS terminal. Okay, let's take ChatGPT's output and also put it into the document for comparison. Okay, so I've consolidated all of the outputs of the three open source models and GPT-4 into this document. So I'm gonna put a link to this document into the description so you can uh, go through the text yourself and can make up your mind uh, uh, for yourself, right? All in all, uh, the text uh, looks like a patent application, I would say. But now let's take a, a deeper look and let's rate the models next to each other um, in relation to uh, the, the, the testing prompt I was feeding into those models. So first of all, as you have seen, uh, we had some context information uh, in our prompt to guide the, the, the models um, about the content of uh, the background section to be drafted. So um, when you look at um, the outputs of the different models. So Mistral uh, has done quite a detailed uh, job, I would say, and it has actually incorporated all of the context information. Llama 2, same thing. Falcon is, Falcon is comparatively short. Um, so actually they, they missed quite a bit of the context information I gave to the model. GPT, of course, is uh, obviously uh, uh, very, very detailed and has um, adopted all of 
the output we gave it. So I would say let's give a thumbs up. Uh, let's give a check mark to Mistral, Llama 2 and GPT-4, but Falcon gets um, a stop sign here. Another um, instruction in my prompt was to draft at least four detailed paragraphs with no subheadings. Mm. Um, Mistral did the job well, Llama 2 also, Falcon only drafted uh, what looks like three paragraphs, so that's a fail again, and GPT-4 did quite one, two, three, four, uh, did exactly four paragraphs. So. Also here, basically same thing. Uh, Mistral, Llama 2 and GPT-4 get um, the check and Falcon gets a red stop sign again. Now, another instruction in my prompt was to end the section with the wording it is therefore an objective of the present invention to placeholder. Let's see if that was picked up by the models. Mistral did pick it up, yes. Llama 2 also. Falcon, no, not quite. GPT-4, yes, picked it up. So it's basically uh, the same rating here. We wanted a factual tone and a compelling narrative. Also, um, you have to read through the model outputs yourself, but um, all the models did a great job, except for Falcon. Um, again, sorry to say, because I don't know what went wrong here. Uh, this is, you, you can read it through. It's, it's quite short. It's, it's not really, uh, not as compelling as the other uh, uh, model outputs just. And then no pointer to the solution. Uh, this was actually achieved very nicely by all of the models. So that's even a green tick for the Falcon model. Okay, so looking at the overall comparison, I mean, yeah, the Falcon model clearly lost the competition. Um, this was a clear fail on many of the, the rating parameters. GPT-4, uh, of course, is just here uh, for reference, so I cannot recommend using it for doing actual client work because of the obvious confidentiality issues involved. So, it's in the end a close call between Mistral and Llama 2. <laughs> You have to make up your own mind. Uh, you can really uh, read through the model outputs. I would say in this test, I would give the the, the, the winning trophy to Llama 2. It, it's a very close call. I just think that, for example, at one point, the Mistral model included some information like with rapidly evolving fields such as AI, biotechnology and nanotechnology generating an ever-growing volume of patent applications. Hmm. That's th something I would not have included into my draft. For me personally, Llama 2 was just a bit more on point and had, yeah, the output had more of, uh, was more compatible with my personal style. But in the end, maybe that's, that's more or less a matter of personal taste. So, Close win for Llama 2, I would say, um, in this test, Mistral being uh, in a very close uh, second spot. So I hope that you found this comparison helpful and I hope you're uh, amazed, uh, just like me, about the quality of the output of these open source LLM models. Remember, all of uh, the output is generated really completely on my laptop without sending any data anywhere. Um, again, I'm putting a link uh, to this document into the description so you can go through the model outputs yourself and make up your own minds. The document also includes the, the prompt, of course, we were using. So, if you want to stay up to date uh, with these uh, rapid developments, watch out for my upcoming workshop on secure AI-assisted patent drafting. I will share my teachings, my AI tool pipeline and my specialized prompts. 
182 pre-registrations um, have been done in nine days, which is really amazing. I'm really excited for all this uh, feedback. You can pre-register for the workshop uh, by uh, using the link I will put into the description. And with that being said, hope this was helpful and see you in the next video.